Hey y'all, Ken Beatty here, Shore Clean Solutions. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day and a wonderful year power washing. Um, today's video, just want to talk to you a little bit about, um, you know, like equipment and the reasons why you should always go through, do walkthroughs of your equipment every single day. Or if you have employees, you know, uh, get a little um, sheet together, you know, and have them uh, come back to you and let you know you know, uh, if there's anything wrong here, you know, um, with us, we, you know, have a little log and we'll check over our equipment, you know, we'll have like, it's like a, a maintenance log. And then we have like a repair log, um, that, you know, when, you know, somebody sees something that's not right or, you know, needs to be repaired or, you know, if, uh, hours are getting a little high on machines, you know, we go ahead and, you know, write it down. It needs to be maintenance. So, um, basically in this video, I just want to talk to you and, uh, you know, tell you, uh, that is an important to keep your equipment up to good standing. So in this video, I'm bringing to you, I'm talking to you mainly about, um, hose lines and, uh, we're actually replacing some of our hose lines right now because some of the ones that are actually in, that were in service, where I'm actually here at the shop now taking them out of service because, you know, of cuts and stuff like that. You guys need to check your hose lines and make sure, to, you know, you don't have any cuts or abrasions and stuff like that because when you're using, you know, your hose lines and, you know, you got 3,000 PSI or whatever it is going through there, man, that's dangerous. You know, if uh, your hose snaps because, you know, the abrasions in it or uh, it's got little cracks or, or – uh, little slits or whatever the case may be you know when you're you're pulling your hose line across somebody's yard and you know it hits a landscape rock or you know a curb or whatever you know it's gonna could have the potential to put a slit in your line or um not even a slit just just an abrasion and here i'll show you on uh you know my line and on this particular one i'm actually pulling it out of service because it is not going to be used i know it's probably to some of you guys you know it's probably not that bad but i you know i see it to where you know it could be a potential hazard in the field and that's the last thing you want is somebody to get hurt um using the line so um on this particular one how we how i like to do it is i like to uh you know, go ahead and mark, uh, you know, my line. So this way, um, and I just take some, uh, bright yellow, uh, tape. And, uh, if I see something, I've got it in actually in my rig, well, actually on all of them. Um, I, I take, and uh, we mark the line while we're out there in the field, if we see something. So this way it's not forgotten when you're, you know, you're out there on a job and, you know, you get, you get done washing or, whatever you're doing and uh you know you, you tend to just sometimes forget about things so and, and this this allows us to actually remember um that hey we have a problem with our line and it needs to be addressed so basically what i do is if you see there you know i just we wrap a piece of tape on it i'll see if i can flip this line over all right and if you look there you see that little gouge mark now it's not bad um, this line that we actually have, it's, uh, does up to 6,000 PSI. Um, it's a two wire line. So it's, it's two wire, you know, on like a one wire line, you know, you, you know, I would say, yeah, you know, really watch out for that. Um, two wire, you know, it's just as dangerous in my mind. Anything when you get a, when you get a cut in your line and you're dealing with, uh, pressure, um, can obviously be dangerous because, you know, if, it, if this line gets pulled across, you know, uh, like I said, somebody's landscape, landscape stone or, you know, a curb or, you know, just anything. And uh, in this particular spot here, you know, it could be a serious, serious hazard. You know, that line blows out and you're talking, you know, you've got three 3,000 PSI flying at somebody. Man, it could cut somebody wide open and, you know, you definitely don't want to do that. So guys, and this tip that I'm just going to share to you is uh, please uh, check your lines, check your equipment, make sure everything is safe. You do not want to be out there on a job, uh, you know, washing and have a line blow out or, you know, something like that. So put your time in, uh, maintain your equipment, um, 
and it'll always operate uh, the way it's supposed to and uh, you could be safe out there in a the field. So that's it for me. I just wanted to bring this up because I see, you know, some people, uh, some guys out there replace it when they have a little issue, like their hose lines. Um, and then I've heard other stories where some guys wait until the very last possible minute. You know, hose line is something that uh, should not be forgotten. It's uh, something that's pretty fairly inexpensive, um, depending on what kind of line you get. Um, so that should be, you know, the number one thing that you look for in replacing because it will get damaged very fast. Doesn't take long. Um, so just check that stuff out, guys. Um, make sure your hose lines are in good condition. And that's all I got for you this week, man. Subscribe to my channel. Check it out. I've got a, a lot of stuff coming your way. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, give me a like, give me a share, let your friends know, you know, uh, that, uh, I'm building this channel to try to help other fe fellow power washers and, uh, you know, build our industry, make it better. You know, that's what it's all about. So, uh, thank you. God bless. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.